Hi, this is Layla the Regulator, and we made it to another year. Happy 2013, people. Um, now this is the perfect time to start from scratch. Um, but as we get to the end of the year, most of our goals are not met. Now, why is that, really? Um, because of procrastination. That's the reason. Uh, you have to really be focused and determined to do what you have to do. And this is what will kill your chances of doing whatever it is you want to do, whether it be dating, whether it be uh, traveling somewhere new, whatever it is, procrastination is the number one killer of dreams. Please check out my blog for more in-depth uh, theories on procrastination. But we will be talking about it today. First of all, you have to identify why you procrastinate. Um, in general, it's because of stress. Um, that's a big distraction. When you're stressed, you don't want to do anything because you're too stressed to think about stuff. You can't focus. Um, it's your environment. Are you in a peaceful place? Is there any way you can sit somewhere and think? Or is it too noisy for you to think? Um, these are the things you have to think about. And it's unfortunate that we have these stresses in our lives that make they're responsible for our procrastination. Um, but you can, believe it or not, you can beat this. And this is the way you can do it. If there's a goal you have in life, like I said, for it to be achieved, you have to have focus and determination. That is the key. You must be focused and determined. Um, in order to encourage yourself to achieve this goal, this is what you have to do. Write a list on the goal that you want to achieve. That's number one. Because when you physically see it, you have to physically see it. Because when it's in your mind and it's not on paper, it's, other things will get into your life and it will easily push it out of your mind. So you need to have somewhere that you, that you go to constantly, daily. Put it on a blackboard. Put it on the refrigerator. Uh, if it's very personal to you, Put it somewhere that no one can see, but somewhere that you go, like in your drawer, for example, when you open the drawer, that should be one of the first things you see. Um, write a list, because if you write a list, um, like I said, it will help you. Um, number two, tell people about it. Uh, if you have a goal, you know, just naturally, you don't want to fail. So sometimes you need a little healthy pressure to complete that goal. So what you have to do is tell people about it. You know, I, I plan to uh, lose 10 pounds in two months. Um, I plan to uh, uh, train for exercise regimen uh, for the uh, marathon. Tell people. Um, because usually that, that little pressure in your head, you, do not, you don't want to fail usually. So you're going to want to complete that because your friends and family will come back to you. So um, how's that weight loss going? Or so are you still training for the marathon? You want to you you want to succeed. You don't want to say, oh well, I didn't I didn't do it. So that little healthy pressure will help you. Um, number three, uh, you have to give yourself a deadline. Again, this is healthy pressure believe it or not. Um, at work, you have deadlines, and you know that if you don't get it done, you're not going to look, at, look good as an employee. You, you won't look great for that promotion in the future, so make a deadline. Um, if you do not see, succeed that deadline, don't worry about it. Just, you know, We are human beings. Nobody is perfect, but make sure that if that you're only a couple of days off of your deadline, maybe a couple of weeks, but not a couple of months, okay? Um, so we're going to tie this all together so you have an idea of what a non-procrastination goal is. Um, for me personally, uh, I gained weight. Um, I don't know. I think it's because I'm getting older. You know, I really don't gain that much weight, but I gained weight out of the blue. It just came out of nowhere and I was like, holy crap. I'm a big sugar nut and I love sugar. Uh, don't get me started on sugar, and um, I went nuts. I mean, but as I get older, my metabolism slowing, and I, it, I literally just woke up one day, and it was just like 
10 pounds. What, what the hell? So what I did was, is I said, okay, I'm going to write down exactly what I want to do to get rid of this weight. So um, I wrote down what I need to do. And I know sugar for me personally is, is a problem for weight. So I, I made a regimen on what I was going to eat. I wrote a list. I wrote a deadline when I was going to lose this weight. I told my friends and my family, I gained 10 pounds and I'm going to lose it. And the pressure of people knowing, you know, they scrutinize you more. So they're like, hmm, you gained weight. Oh, okay. So now they're waiting to see you lose it. And um, I wrote on my calendar the days I would go and work out. I wrote on my calendar what I would eat. I even used an app to help me count my calories. And, uh, you know, there, there were days I was distracted with stress, you know, with life problems. And, you know, I would probably, you know, not do it that day. But I would make sure the next day I would be double on it. If I missed a day exercising or, you know, that usually I exercise for an hour and a half, the next day I would exercise two and a half hours. So, uh, and eventually it was a slow process, but lost the weight. And the only thing that made that possible is not to procrastinate, to focus. Of course, like I said, you know, sometimes you fall back, stress and things of that nature, but I did it. And you can do it too. So look, look for that in the future. Not to procrastinate. Even have friends that support. If you have a, if you have a goal and uh, you think your friends will have that same goal, work together. Encourage each other. Uh, maybe you want to lose weight. I'm sure you have a friend that wants to lose weight too. And, and say, look, let's encourage each other. Let's do what we have to do. Let's work out together. Let's stop each other from eating bad stuff. Let's work together. And if you do this and have common goals, not only will you build a better bond with someone, you're not alone in it. But if you have to be alone in your goal, be determined. Don't procrastinate. It's the number one killer of all dreams. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, um, check out the blog, which you should see somewhere down there, and uh, we'll talk later.